Um, yeah, uh, everything went my way. You know, um, the main thing for me is that we're in Division One. That's that was the goal of today. We we'll get to play Division One cricket. Um, it didn't quite go to plan this morning. We didn't get as many runs as possible as we wanted, but. Oli Handel was magnificent. I know he got he didn't get what he deserved, and luckily I managed to get him the other end. But it's going to live long with me today. You know, um, I'm just glad I put in a performance with the lads after missing most of the year. How do you feel though? Because we saw you on the boundary. You had shakes, bananas, squash, yeah. everything going down your. Body. I had a bit of everything going down me. I'm pretty shattered uh, after. I think it was the Barker wicket. Uh, I said to Will, "I'm done. I can't keep going." And uh, him and Sibley had some quite strong words for me. And. Basically said, you are going to keep going, you don't have a choice in it. Uh, luckily for them, I, I just said, yeah, I'll, fine, I'll keep going. Um, credit to physios and 12 men for, like you said, just getting anything they could down me. I've, it's just lack of cricket, like I said, I've barely played this year. Um, so they were just throwing shakes out, anything down me to keep me going, but I'm glad I did. How much belief was in that dressing room? Because some looked at that yeah. title and thought maybe Hampshire might get it quite quickly. Yeah. Some of the thought that Hampshire might win it. Um, we felt if we got early wickets, we had a chance. And especially if we got James in early, we had a chance. So to get three quick ones and then Vince out, we felt we were right in it. And then, honestly, it felt like it was slipping away a bit when Fuller and Gubbins were going. Uh, Fuller came out and played some good shots to good balls. Rode his luck a little bit. And Gubbins played a good innings. And then when we got Gubbins out, we felt Fuller was going to lose his composure, and he did. And luckily, that played into our hands. And... At the end of that last over, when they needed six, we needed two wickets. I said to Will, I'm winning this. Um, and then, yeah, luckily we did. Monumental effort with everything <laughs> against it. But even if you look at the short boundary as well, to be able to defend that and make sure yeah. you go for an economy less than four. But, look, the, the lads today were outstanding in the field. We held all our catches. We we were together as a unit in everything we did. You know, um, it was a proper, I know I get the wickets, but it was a proper, proper team effort. And that's going to go unnoticed, but it was a proper team effort. And although there were different circumstances, but he did have shades of last year, didn't he? Counting yeah. Counting down the wickets. Yeah. Um, like I said, very, completely wrong end of the table, and we want to be back where we were last year. But it almost felt, in some ways, better that last when we got that last wicket, like because it was a relief. Last year it was you're ecstatic, you've done something no one expected you to do. This year it was a relief that we're, we stay in Division One and. We believe this. We should be playing Division One cricket as at this club. We're a big club. It means so much to the members, so much to the players, and I'm just glad for the members and for the support staff and for all the lads from changing. That we're still in Division One for next year. And the and the heads haven't dropped either. I mean, we've had a difficult couple of weeks. We couldn't get the results we wanted against yeah. Somerset in Gloucestershire. I think before this game, you might have seen answer fifty to one, maybe even more than hundred one. We were going to win, but the lads <laughs> just kept believing. I, that's massive. Um, Robo alluded to it in uh, with the members a minute ago. We've had the belief that we were going to get ourselves out of this. Um, we we feel we're too good a team to not get out of it, and luckily we managed to. Uh, we've got a big winter ahead. We've got some big senior players leaving. We've got some cap players leaving. So we need players to step up. We need to really fill those roles. But I don't see why if we don't have a good winter, we cannot be back at the right end of the table next year challenging. And you set yourself a pretty high bar, though, haven't you? If I ever do that again, I'll be shocked. But um, look, next year I just want to be fit. I showed last year what I can do when I'm fit, and I, without trying to sound arrogant, I honestly believe if I've been fit for half a season, we wouldn't be in this position. And I'm not trying to sound arrogant now, I just have a cop belief in myself. Um, and hopefully today proves that. But we want to be at the right end of Division 1 next year, so it's a big winter ahead for us.